In this lab, um, we're looking at the effect of increased surface area on reaction speed. The effect of increased surface area on reaction speed. On your lab sheet, um, there's a space for you to write a hypothesis um, to this question. Does surface area have any effect on the speed at which a chemical reaction takes place? Does surface area have any effect on the speed at which a chemical reaction takes place. Write your hypothesis now. Okay, um, we have a film canister, um, we have a mortar and pestle, um, some effervescent tablets, timer, and then a beaker of water. I'm going to start by placing 10 milliliters of water into the film canister. And I'm going to use a syringe to draw up the water. So 10 milliliters of that. Okay. So our water is in. Um, I'm going to take one of the two effervescent tablets and we'll put it into the film canister and then cap it and as you probably know um, the tablet is going to react with the water well there's going to be a reaction that takes place um, it's going to give off a gas and that's going to the gas is going to build up pressure and cause the cap to fly off of the film canister so um, we're, we want to record the amount of time it takes for the cap to actually pop off of this canister um, if we put a whole tablet in. Remember, our independent variable here is surface area. So that means, you know, for the second trial then, we're going to have to change the surface area of this tablet, and we're going to do that by crushing it. But for the first trial, we're going to put in the whole tablet. So 10 milliliters of water is already in. Um, let's see, I'll try to get the um, tablet in there and then start the timer really quick quickly um, be nice if I had four hands but we'll use what we have all right here we go ready set drop Okay, well that was about 16 seconds. That was pretty loud too. Okay, let me clean up and then we'll do the second trial. Okay, so here's our film canister again. I again will put in 10 milliliters of water. And this time we're going to take the second tablet and we're going to change the surface area by breaking it up into a few small pieces. I'm going to do that using the mortar and pestle. I'm going to pour 
pour it out on this sheet of paper. So we have increased the surface area of the tablet by crushing it up. Set our timer. All right, now I'll try to carefully pour this in. The amount should be exactly the same as the whole tablet. The only difference is that it's crushed up. Um, I'll try to pour it in and start timing. A little bit more difficult here, but we'll try it. Okay, ready, set, drop. Okay, and that was about six seconds. So, as you can see, uh, the reaction took place at a faster rate um, when the tablet was crushed. The surface area was increased. Um, use this information to complete your lab sheet. Um, you're being asked about variables. Um, <clears throat> You're also being um, asked to summarize the results and to give two real-life applications. Um, good luck.